Hello. Here we are, we're live and it's 1010. And we're here with Anjalia Marisa Sheehan, your favorite cosmic shaman with this 1010 Gateway Project. And one of the reasons I wanna be here with you is because I'm a um, gatekeeper. And I feel like this, these are all the most important times with the ascension going on. And I want this to be for gatekeepers, grid workers, star seeds, and creation keepers, so that we can all understand more, come together more as we're expanding and opening up our galactic nature and our evolutionary new human, right? So I always call myself a cosmic shaman or your favorite cosmic shaman as I do these projects, just because I like to have a sense of humor. Um, there's so much going on right now. I don't know really where to begin, except that many of you may be feeling it's very tumultuous right now in your personal lives or in your business lives or in your physical lives or your spiritual lives, because it is. It's almost like we're getting pumped with these photonic light fields. Like everything is getting like exploding as we're evolving from inside out, above and below, and outside in. So it, it's really, it's a multidimensional conglomeration in a, in a sense. We're really returning back from where we began, from our original genome, our original Adam Cadman. And it's some process, if you think about it, like how do we return back to oneness? when we've be, been living in this dualistic polarized earth. And then we're all here, every single being who is here on earth has chosen to come here for this plan. And it's, I love to think of it more like a, a project, a creation project, and that we've chosen ourselves to come on board. And something I love to share is um, I read somewhere that you know, many of us feel it's very difficult to be human, be alive, it's painful, you know, we're sensitives and it's, it's not as flowing as we would like, let's say. But what's so interesting to think about is that um, we are choosing this life so that we can be a new human. Like we've chosen to be a new human and we're the ones that are going to say, yeah, I was there during the ascension. I was there on earth and I'm an earthling. Like I would never have thought that I would want to call myself an earthling <laughs> or a new earth being, but I call myself a new earth shaman because that's kind of my whole drive. So anyway, here we are on 1010. Um, and this is a whole series of kind of galactic doorways opening up. I feel like these um, sacred numbers, numerical time periods are always new junctures for that year. So we're going to be having 10, 10, 11, 11, and 12, 12 is the big one right before 2020. Um, and each number, you may be seeing these numbers all the time like I am. I'm constantly looking at my clock on my phone or looking on my clock on my, especially in my car, it's even more prevalent. There's constantly double numbers, 11, 11, 10, 10, 5, 5, 5, or 5, 5, um, 2, 2. And that's, this, to me, it's this, like a little secret. Yeah, you're doing it. You're here. You're raising your consciousness. You're in the ascension slide, let's call it, almost like a water slide. And when we see those numbers reoccurring, it's like we're tuning into that giant Merkaba that we are creating together. And so um, the one in the 10 represents new beginning, right? And then the zero represents the alpha and omega, which is the death and rebirth cycle and our interconnectedness with the divine, right? So that um, we're, we're opening to these opportunities to receive cosmic messages of primordial awakening as we enter these new doorways um, on this planet in the enlightenment program. 
So be prepared for quantum leaps. And really it's a great time to go out and sun gaze because the sun, these are the solar fathers. The sun, the great central sun, great, great central sun and beyond are, are solar libraries. And they bring down these codes like the matrix. Like you can see sometimes if you're a seer like myself, geometries, glyphs, light language, codes, just like in the matrix show, the movie. And it's, it's like just flowing into us and recoding us. Um, so it's really amazing to just connect with that sun and connect with the, the wisdom and the acceptance. So like there's a deep, deep, deep acceptance of who we are on this earth from these solar fathers, let's say. And they're always working through the, my work and in my privates where we, we work with all the traumas where we haven't been connected to the solar father, our own father. It's like our lineage clearing, the masculine, right? And then also with the mother connecting to Gaia and our mothers and our connection to our umbilical cord and where we are with our power in our life here as a male or a female, um, really understanding that deep connection. And that's all part of the ascension work is not only just connecting to your angelic nature or your higher self or the masters or, um, but also even totems like magical totems. I'm working a lot lately, like when we just did a seer retreat to Grand Canyon, Sedona, we worked a lot very shamanically with, with different serpent totems that were creation serpents and an elder tree for each of us and an elder indigenous and a fairy body. And each one of them, we had a, we had a massive creation grandmother and also um, a giant turtle, cosmic turtle was so profound, but some of these things are all part of this learning to be this multidimensional level, like the, the upper six realms and the lower six realms. And we're tying them all together again in this package that we are. So a lot of also what's going on is this, the old paradigm is losing its hold, which has been this Piscean era, it's called and we're in the golden Aquarian age, but the Piscean era was more the, the masculine in control. And so we've been working a lot with different wounds, like core wounds, the, the Egyptian core wounds, the Atlantean core wounds, the Lemurian core wounds. A lot of in my privates, that's what's showing up for people, those past lives. And we're doing it for the collective when we, when we work at a, higher level with our spiritual evolution, we're not only helping our own being, but our family and the new children, the new humans of the new earth in the future, as well as our collective consciousness. Um, and that's why I work with the Merkaba as a Merkaba meditation with um, the privates and the groups and the retreats that I go on, because how are we gonna again, how are we gonna take what we are which seems extremely, you know, physical and create a consciousness that's multidimensional. And the Merkaba creation of the sacred geometries is what I've received from uh, the masters and the Metatron. So I asked who was going to be coming with us for this meditation today. And it was Ashtar Command, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, Metatron, Mother Gaia, the Planetary Keepers, the Fathers of Time, Mother Sekmekt, the Creation Mothers, the Federation of Light, Blue Mother Mary, Jesus, Magdalene, Sanat and Venus Kumara, the Hathors, and then there's more. So we wanna drink a lot of water because this is gonna be a, an activation and a clearing So when I was asking about what we'd be, we would be doing, we'll be opening up a group portal. Um, it's like an intergalactic download, they said, and we'll be 
calling forth Metatron to open a group portal and collective Merkaba ship of light. And this is a sacred geometry that offers safe haven as you expand and illuminate. Its organization co-creates with your DNA structure to restructure you in the highest order for your being. And this also allows for safe downloads of the upcoming height and heightened frequencies and accelerations in the codes of light. Each of you is an ascension plan that is personal and perfect for you. And the Merkaba sacred vehicle is your attunement chamber. So rely and count on your Merkaba chamber to reorganize and integrate your sacred structure. Alrighty, so let's begin. So let's just take a deep breath in. As we call in now, Ascended Master Lord, Metatron, the Holy Mothers, Great Mothers, Holy Fathers, Great Fathers, Creator, Great Creator, all that there is, Mother, Father, God, Goddess, Gaia, Sophia, we call upon you now. As we call in our special emissary team, the Ashtar Command, the Galactic Federation of Light, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, the Hathors, Mother Sekhmet, the Egyptians, the Atlanteans, the Lemurians, Mother Mary, Blue Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Christ Sananda, The creation mothers, fathers of time, Mother Gaia. As we call in to connect to our hearts, sending our heart beams to one another, to all that have joined with us and all that watch with us. That we call in and open, invoking a heart portal. As we open to our own personal Merkaba ship of light and our co-creative, collaborative, grand Merkaba ship of light. Breathing down deeply allowing your mind to settle and gently move through your throat, through your thymus and into your heart. Where we call forth the seven gateways of your heart chamber. And first we call in the flame that is in the center of your heart. It is your signature. It is your threefold flame, beloved ones. The pink flame of love the blue flame of creation and power, the gold flame of light and wisdom. That's allowing this flame to sit upon a lotus as its base and just find right where 
is the sweet spot in your heart. Move it to the back a little, along the spine, down. Move it to the left and to the right, almost like you're a cat or a dog. Moving right into that place that feels the best for you. And notice as you begin to sink into this, it calibrates. Now this is your own Adam Cadman, they say, this flame is your own awakenment flame. This holds your heart temple. It circulates all between you and all things. It is a magical flame. Breathing deeply. As you breathe in, you accept and bring into you. And as you let yourself breathe out, you let go of that which is no longer serving you. So let us just breathe into this heart now and feel a beautiful ball of light in front of you. This very tangible ball of light. It is growing as you focus your energy on it. And bring that now into your heart, into the center of that flame. And see it, feel it, sense it, expand. It's growing to the edges of your auric field, your light body. The edges of your auric egg. Creating a beautiful, safe, protective boundary. It is so necessary as we do this heightened work. And you sense the letting go process begin. And so we will be opening the gateways of your heart. And we begin with the gateway in the front going out six feet in front of you, the Venusian gateway. And we call for this gateway to open, to move through this gateway to Venus and receive the gifts, the medicine, the wisdom of Venus. And the masters of Venus and bring it with your breath gently back into your heart flame to nurture your own multidimensionality. We go now to the back of the heart, to the Syrian gateway, out six feet beyond you your heart, breathing in as we call to open the Syrian gateway, to move beyond this gateway to Sirius and to receive from the masters, the medicines, the gifts, the wisdom, the empowerments, return them back through this gateway into your heart of oneness.
As we go now to the right, to the Chiron Gateway, out six feet beyond you, and call to open the Chiron Gateway. And call to the masters, to the medicine, to the gifts, to the wisdom of Chiron. And ask for it to be brought back with our breath, back into our heart, flame. The generosity of each gateway, each planet. That these planets have already ascended and they are here to help us. As we go now to the left, to the Pleiadian gateway, six feet out to the left. Breathing into this gateway to open and to call forth the masters, the medicine, the gifts, the wisdom of the Pleiades. And bring that back through that gateway and into your heart to blend, to merge. As we go now to above you, to the Andromedan gateway, six feet beyond you, calling to open the Andromedan gateway and calling to the masters of Andromeda for the empowerments, the wisdom, the medicine, the gifts, and bring them back down through you to your heart once more. As we go now down below you to the Arcturian gateway, asking to move and open this gateway calling to the Arcturian masters. Would they share their wisdom, their empowerments, their medicine, their gifts with us and bring them with our breath back up and into your heart. Just feeling the deepening of the strength and the sense of the Merkaba building of a structure that's incorruptible. That cannot be put off its kilter. That it is so strongly aligned. And attuned. In this Merkaba attunement. To your own heartbeat. And now we go above us, reaching to the sun, the solar fathers, to the great central sun, the great, great central sun, and beyond, calling forth these golden rays, feeling this illumination as we reach, breathe in and call forth this acknowledgement from these holy fathers, these libraries of light. And ask for the wisdom, the deep acknowledgement, the deep acceptance that is necessary for our personal evolution and the evolution of this planet, Earth. The feeling as we stay here, the deep structure, the architecture, the strengthening of our very core. of our light channel, feeding us with these messages of wisdom, 
teachings. Great learning. Always accept accessible. And you may feel you want to bring both hands now up high and bring down the matrix, the codes of light, this attunement code X that we are being brought forth in this unique now moment of 10, 10. Riando, remado, remado, remado. Mahu solu yu ma gai he ma holu hai ma hai e ma do kalu ai ma u ye ma u ma ye tau ma hu di ye o ma ta hi e ma lu hu hi a hu e ma ye. As we open our pillar now, our beautiful pillar of light and the receptivity in our Merkaba chamber, that the codes are moving down through our chakra system, our chakras, the soul star above the crown, the crown chakra. The brow, check it chumba, tomba chumba, tombo chu the egg, I chew kuntoi. Alu san chinkate, kui ma chu tan, hello chu. Opening the pineal, toyim chain kal tom ma do te inge jay. The pineal, the pineal, the pineal, the hypothalamus, 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 amygdala, amygdala, amygdala. <sighs> Corpus callosus, the bridge between the left and the right hemispheres. The atomic point. the point of cosmic consciousness, the hairline, the atomic at the nose top. The zeal point. Releasing any implants. Creating a balanced hemisphere with a loop of eternity. An infinity sign. 
opening the brow. The master eye. Placing a blue sapphire in the master eye and a diamond in the brow, faceted, seeing all points of view. Seeing all things as new in this new beginning, as pure potential. Bringing down these solar codes down now through our throat chakra. In the back of the front and opening up at the ears simultaneously. The receptivity chakra on the left and the transmission chakra on the right going in opposite directions in a cone. <sighs> And again to the zeal point, the nape of the neck and back to the throat. We're a hexagram. Geometry is golden, placed in the throat. Spinning counterclockwise, seven, 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 seven parsec to the velocity of 11. We move now to the thymus, the high heart. The relationship chakra. <laughs> Reviewing all the light and the dark. Wiping the sleep clear. Calling forth the Zeptepi, the flooding of the fields to bring forth the fertility. An ancient rite to fertilize the fields anew. Mershusa Kalhum Rate Sainik Chao Mahala Kaye Ye Yal Shao Mahadai with compassion, Kuan Yin says. Deeper understanding and clarity. We move now into the heart. into this sacred vessel, this temple. It is the heart of your Merkaba.
It is the command center where your beautiful crystal lies. And we call forth these activations in the crystal Merkaba of your heart temple. to attune to this new gateway opening in alignment with the evolution of this planet and your own personal evolutionary program. letting down all the veil walls, all the forbidden areas that previously were untouchable. Letting them feel these rays of solar love that warm And so trust and truth may reign. Trust and truth may resonate and vibrate in this recalibration. As another eternal loop of the infinity sign, the Vescia Pisces moves through your heart now. Also marrying the masculine and the, the feminine pillars on the left and the right. They may merge and marry. And sing a song of oneness, of unity. in balance, collaboration, consecrity. Bringing all into your heart crystal, into your inner queendom, your inner kingdom. Blessing all that you are. Through all streams of your multidimensionality, we say. Breathing now deeply as the solar rays are continuing this attunement into your solar plexus chakra. Assisting with this clarity, and this acknowledgement, this wisdom, this truth. That you are, that you came here to be. Breathing into the different color lights that stream forth, as well as the golden glyphs and codes. Moving now into the Hara, below the navel. This place of your personal power this place of your connection to your mother, to the great mother. <sighs> Re-identifying you in your truth. And 
Now we go to the sacrum. To this place of pleasure and creation. To the release chakras at the left and the right. To the creation chakras on the feminine and the masculine side. And then into the dreaming womb that all have. Into the creation womb. This birthing gateway. Letting these ascension codes unscramble your truth, redesign your architecture, your chemistry, your alchemy. As we go now to the base chakra to this serpent, this grand and great serpent who says, what has taken you so long? It looks at us with expectation, with its tongue flickering, it begins to weave As it begins to become two, splitting and weaving the Ida, the Pinali, the Kundalini, rising through these chakras. in our chakra center system, expanding, 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 illuminating, 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 activating, activating, activating. A sense of collaboration and peace. It continues to unwind. An interdisciplinary mechanism of of totality, communion, reunion. As we move now, as that is continuing to move within us, we also move down further into the link chakra beneath our knees, integrating all that we have received, moving forward and down into the anchoring chakras at the ankles. Also moving with our masculine and feminine in our pillar, into the earth star. It takes us into the heart of Mother Gaia. Through the middle and the inner earth.
where we meet Mother Gaia, as we feel a pulsation inside her heart that reminds us of the pulsation inside our mother's heart and inside our mother's womb. That primordial connection, that deep satisfaction, nurturance, that everything is here for us, is supplied for us, is flowing through us. It's all working in the miracle of life that we are, this sacred life that we have chosen. This eternal life of our spirit and soul, our presence. is being nurtured here by the great mother. As we begin to feel the sense of flow of the fluids, the waters. that all the elements are here with us in our bodies on this earth, the water, the air, the ether, the fire, the earth. In this primordial soup of creation we are, in the womb of our mother, great mother, in the womb of the great whale mothers. With many creation mothers swimming around us now, rainbow serpent mothers, galactic celestial universal mothers, multi-universal mothers. As we move now into the voidal, dark, warm, velvety folds of the voidal mothers, of cosmic creation, of the velvet darkness, of oneness and the yin yang spark of creation. Swimming in this primordial sea of pure potential. In this dew drop, this tear drop, this God's eye, this source eye, that you are, that I am. As your I am flame begins to glow, your Merkaba, I am flame, as seen in this reflection of the God I. That comes now into your own brow chakra, into your own master eye above your head. 
Let it, as you sit in your Merkaba, your sacred geometry, your I am flame, you are but the sight of the creation. on this exploration, this adventure, this great pilgrimage. And we are a form of honor. It has come to honor ourselves and one another, each other from this source stream in this creation project upon the new earth. Rihalo ma kwee him ma kwala ha hale me he we walo ha o ma kwa i me kwee hello le hello le hello le a he o ma a ye ma a le ho a a ye ma gwa Hello, hello, hey, ya. Be Elohim and Ella, ha, ta, Blow a kiss, a sneeze. Oh, Shamaku, time Bringing you our love. In oneness, we are. We sing to you. We embrace you. And we see you as this beautiful Merkaba Christed being of light. We are here to bring you home, to know yourself in all reflections. As this beautiful new earth becomes Gaia's garden, the enchanted place of our heart streaming. May each of you find your way to this miracle that you are, this garden that you have brought with you, this peace this harmony, this unity. Of your puzzle piece. Blessed be, blessed be your Merkaba of light, your I am Christed heart of creation. We love you. We see you. We are here for you. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, beloved ones. It's 
allowing this to settle in, drink a lot of water. You can use this again and again. It will continue to download for you. I'll write up and put this audio on my website and it will be available for you also on YouTube. So please share if you feel like it and join me for 1111 and 1212. Stay tuned. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.